Hello everyone. My name is Alfred Thomas Mario. I completed MBBS from Government Stanley Medical College, Chennai in 2016. I worked for 9 months in the Department of Neurosurgery, Christian Medical College, Vellur. I could get only 12,000 plus All India NEET PG rank last year as I was working and couldn't get much time to study. So I resigned in April 2017 and enrolled myself in ADR Plexus, Chennai to prepare for entrance exams. I secured All India Rank 371 in Ames and All India Rank 87 in Jipmer, November 2017 session. My NEET PG 2018 score is 845. The rank list is awaited. I am here today to share a few tips with you to help crack postgraduate entrance exams. I read only the notes that I prepared in the ADR Plexus classes and used the books written by the ADR Plexus faculty to solve the MCQs. I took one subject at a time, read my notes, then solved MCQs, then solved that subject ADR Plexus online test. Similarly, when I had completed all subjects in this way, I started attempting the mock tests. Finally, I revised my notes for one last time. The last two steps, that is, the mock tests and the revision were most important. When you are in class, write notes as much as possible. Also write the explanations given by the faculty and not the bullet points alone. I overheard one of the student telling his friend that he does not remember why he wrote down a particular point in his notebook while he was revising his notes a few weeks after the class. By asking your friend a doubt in the middle of the session, both you and your friend are distracted and miss valuable points. Instead, you can clarify your doubts with your friend or the faculty during the break. It is not good to ask the faculty for breaks or to ask him or her to take the rest of the topics the next day. Each faculty will have a target to complete certain topics in a day. If there is a lack of interest shown by the students, the faculty also may lose his or her interest. If forced to give a break or leave you early as requested, the faculty may have to omit certain topics which is certainly not good for you. Feeling sleepy in class is natural and it is due to exhaustion from studying the previous day and sitting for long academic sessions. You can drink water or chew a toffee when you are feeling sleepy. Writing notes has an added advantage of driving away sleep. Once the classes are over, there will be around 100 days till the NEET PG exam. Focused attention and perseverance in this period will ensure success. It doesn't matter if you didn't win a medal in college or if you weren't a subject topper in college. It all comes down to how you study in these 100 days. This can decide your future career. Don't waste even a single minute in this crucial period. If you had written detailed notes in class, you can finish topics very fast in these 100 days. Whenever I would feel low, I imagined myself as having cleared NEET PG exam and started working as a PG resident in the college of my choice. Believe it or not, I also imagined giving you, my juniors, this pep talk or interview. By escaping into this dream world for a minute or so, I felt very happy and then would continue studying. The starting time of studies in a day would vary depending on when I went to sleep the previous night and when I woke up, but I would ensure that I would read for 10 to 11 hours a day in the last 100 days. I would take 15 minute breaks every 3 to 4 hours of reading to avoid getting bored and frustrated and I would use my mo mobile phone only during the break time. I kept myself motivated and confident that even if I don't rec recollect a topic to solve an MCQ, with what little I could recollect, I would rule out options and hence narrow down the correct option. Self-motivation is the key. Now let me elaborate a little on mock tests. Consider each mock test as a final exam and take it seriously. I perfected time control and decided on the number of questions I would attempt in the final exam during the course of attempting several mock tests. When you face a challenging MCQ while reading at home in a relaxed environment, you think for a while and can mark the correct option. When faced with the same challenging question in the final exam, with the pressure of solving 120 more questions in 60 minutes and the added pressure of getting a good PG seat, the thinking process is adversely affected and you may end up marking the wrong option. For example, you ask a batsman to score 4 runs in 2 balls, he will easily achieve that. But ask him to score 4 runs in the last 2 balls of the innings to win the World Cup final, he might not be able to achieve the target. The equation remains the same. 
it is only the situation that has changed. But a batsman like MS Dhoni, who has encountered several such situations like this before, handles the pressure easily and can easily win the match for you. Similarly, on solving several mock tests, you encounter several such high pressure situations and can tackle similar situations in the final exams with ease. Let me share with you what I did on the day of the exam. I slept for 6 hours the night before the exam. I had a light breakfast. I revised monoclonal antibodies on the way to the exam center. When it was announced that pen and paper would not be given in the exam center, I was happy as I was sure complex mathematical problems like in statistics would not be tested. When a series of tough questions bothered me, I did not lose my cool. Instead, I kept on skipping them and then found easy questions at the end of the question paper. I solved 210 questions in 150 minutes. The remaining 90 challenging questions were solved in the last 60 minutes. To conclude, I have seen my fellow students in ADR Plexus using mobile phones during the class to chat on WhatsApp or see Facebook newsfeed or play games during the academic session while others talk to each other or crack jokes and have fun. Your parents' hard-earned money was spent so that you can attend these classes. The faculty work hard and sacrifice so much of their free time to help us understand and memorize many concepts for the exam. I consider myself and all the students who had attended ADR Plexus with me last year as soldiers fighting a great war as in Bahubali. When some of the students are using mobile phones in class or get distracted, I look around and see them getting struck by arrows and swords and falling down on the ground. But I kept on fighting. You also continue fighting in the same way and victory will ultimately be yours. My best wishes to all of you to achieve great success in the forthcoming exams and make your parents proud and bring laurels to ADR Plexus, especially Dr. Arun Kumar sir and his excellent team of faculty members. Thank you.